Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on the number line and directed numbers. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What word or description can be associated with the following? All the best with this puzzle and you'll find the answer at the end. The number line. The above number line shows a few negative integers, zero and a few positive integers. The above number line extends continuously, that is infinitely, in both directions as can be shown by the arrows at each end. Integers. The word integers is another name for whole numbers. The number line on the previous slide shows the integers negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2 and positive 3. The number line has many other numbers contained on it. However, for today's lesson, I will focus on the whole numbers only. I want you to pay particular attention to the zero. Zero is an integer, that is, it is a whole number. Directed numbers. The reason they are called directed numbers is that they have a direction attached to them. The positive numbers proceed in the positive direction and the negative numbers proceed in the negative direction. The two signs, negative and positive. Each of these signs tells you whether the number is negative or positive. Negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3 etc are negative numbers because of this sign. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3 etc are positive numbers because of this sign. Adding and subtracting directed numbers. In the course of your schooling, you may be asked to solve a similar sum to this one. For the purposes of today's lesson, I'm going to use the number line to show you how to solve this sum. Later on, as you become more experienced, you may be able to solve this sum mentally without the use of a number line. So for today, we start at zero. So you place your pen or your pointer or pencil at zero. The positive three tells you that you proceed three steps to the right. One, two, three. So we are here. The negative 6 tells you that we proceed 6 steps to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are here. Positive 5 tells you that we proceed 5 steps to the right. 1, two, three, four, five, we are here, and the minus one tells you that you proceed one step to the left. We finish here, and this is your answer. So your answer is positive one. Rules for multiplication of directed numbers. In simple terms, the rules and examples are as follows. If you multiply a positive number by a positive number, 
your answer is positive. And here is your example. If you multiply a positive number by a negative number, your answer is negative. And here is your example. If you multiply a negative number by a positive number, your answer is negative. And here is your example. And if you multiply a negative number by a negative number, your answer is positive. And here is your example. Rules for division of directed numbers. In simple terms, the rules and examples are as follows. If you have a positive number and you divide it by a positive number, your answer is positive. If you have a positive number and you divide it by a negative number, your answer is negative. If you have a negative number and you divide it by a positive number, your answer is negative. And if you have a negative number and you divide it by a negative number, your answer is positive. Now here is a quick quiz and if you need help or you want to check something out, please go back and look at any slide you wish. You may pause the video if you like to answer the above and the answers are at the end. The answer to puzzle two, three degrees below zero. So have a close look at the puzzle and I'm sure you can work out why that's the answer. Quick quiz answers. These are the answers to the quick quiz. And as I said before, you can go back and check any slide you wish just to confirm anything you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.